lot too. Feels a lot better. Sits in your hand a lot nicer, especially when I can't feel my hands. You're right, that slide release like a boss. That was the XD, right? Yep, that was the XD40. Definitely more, definitely more ergonomic already. Go around two here with the Mod 2. Can't feel my hands. Hey, what's up guys, Tactaholics here, and today we're breaking down the brand new Springfield XD Mod 2. I'm gonna start off this video by saying that this gun was lent to us by some of our faithful subscribers. A big shout out to Rob and Katie McNarley uh, on Facebook. They sent us a message and asked if we had reviewed one of these. I said, no, not yet, but I'd really like to. I uh, didn't really know what they were getting at, and he said, that Rob actually bought Katie one for Christmas. This is her Christmas present right here, and they were kind enough to lend it to us for a couple of weeks to get out here, put some rounds through it, just to help support the channel and to get our feedback of what we thought of it. Uh, we've had some trigger time behind the gun. So far, it's really looking good. We're gonna kind of break it down here, put some more rounds through it, and see what happens. The Mod 2 is currently offered as a subcompact only frame size, available in nine millimeter and 40 caliber. The one we're holding here is nine millimeter. It bears a lot of striking resemblances to the classic XD line from Springfield. They did make a couple of big changes. Probably the most noteworthy and immediately attention drawing would be the texturing of the grip around here. You can see they added grip zone and a couple different angles of texturing here. Starting on the side here where it says grip zone, this is the obviously the least amount of traction on the grip. These corner pieces here on all four corners is the most aggressive, really allowing that hand to bite into the gun and get a good purchase. And then directly in the front of the grip where these little finger choils have been worked in and on the back strap of the gun, just underneath that Springfield uh, grip safety is kind of a medium middle of the road grip texture. And that's supposed to help cut down some of the felt recoil of the gun. As this is a subcompact frame, even shooting a nine millimeter bullet with a flat magazine in there, a lot of people are gonna be losing some fingers off the grip. So they kind of contoured the grips, retextured the grips to cut down on some of that snap that's indicative with the subcompact frame. The Mod 2 incorporates the same three dot sight system that they incorporated in their XDS pistols with the red fiber optic front and the Novak style white iron sight in the rear. We also have the firing pin indicator on the back of the slide that is tactile and sticks out when the firing pin is active and drops inside the gun when the trigger drops. You have a loaded chamber indicator, the same trigger safety and grip safety ambidextrous magazine releases and from there it gets a little bit different. Looking at the contouring of the slide here, they trim down the nose of the slide to make it a little bit less likely to snag for concealed carry purposes as this is typically going to be used for a defensive handgun. And they rounded out the front of the trigger guard again to reduce some of that potential for snagging the firearm when drawing the gun. Probably one of the most noteworthy changes over the original XD, and we'll break them down side by side, is the recontouring of the tang area and just underneath the magazine release and the trigger guard area. They've bowled these areas out, again, to allow the user to get a much higher purchase and a lot more ergonomic controllability on the gun. We're gonna see if it really makes a difference when we run it side by side with the XD in just one minute. Lastly, for the external changes of the Mod 2, they've slimmed down and made a lower profile with the slide lock or slide release and the teardown lever. They're still in the same locations and having that 
reduced size doesn't make them any less efficient or usable, but it does kind of help slim the gun down. I think it looks a little bit nicer than the XD or even the XDM series pistols. The trigger feels really good. There's a traditional amount of take up for Springfield pistols. No over travel, which is new to the mod too. So it feels really nice. It's a great crisp break. And the reset comes back right where you'd expect for an XDM pistol. A little bit long, take up a little bit of slack again. And again, no over travel on the brake. So it feels good in the hand. The trigger brake's nice. Let's start shooting this thing. Talking about the magazine capacity for the 9mm, you have a standard capacity magazine with 13 rounds and an extended magazine allowing up to 16 rounds with this sleeve of death attached to it. And we'll talk about that in just one second. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and get a feel for this thing. So let's see what happens. As you notice, with the extended magazine, especially wearing gloves, it gets hung up on your glove when you're trying to drop the magazine. That's why I call these things sleeves of death. Uh, it was kind of a phrase coined by a buddy of ours, Rob Pincus, and I would recommend and agree with him to get rid of these things off the magazine because without gloves, they may or may not slide out freely but with gloves it's really going to potentially impede that release of the magazine not to mention when you're inserting a new magazine if you have that sleeve on there you run a really good chance of pinching some of that hand in there and it's really going to hurt and not seat the magazine all the way beyond that you did see another hiccup from me uh, with the short magazine the standard magazine what actually happened was i hit the magazine release because it is ambidextrous with this pointer finger by tucking it back in it's pretty cold out. We're losing a little bit of feeling in our fingers and these gloves kind of become a little bit cumbersome to be packed onto such a small frame. But other than that, the Mod 2 is actually shooting really well and the trigger's nice. It's right there, it's tactile. You can get the reset and I'm liking it so far. This could seriously affect your ability to work the trigger. Where's your fingers? Down here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> think it's nice in your hand it actually feels a lot like my XDM grip does 
um, holding it, my hand sliding a little bit on it. I think it's due to the cold. I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping my grip after subsequent shots just from not being able to feel my fingers as well as normal and get a good solid grip on it. But overall, very comfortable. Typical Springfield trigger with that nice uh, hard stop. Not a whole lot of over travel, so really nice. Suppose you want these back? Yeah. All right, it's time for a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison. We brought a subcompact XD40 out here with us. The only thing that's aftermarket with that gun is a Powder River Precision Trigger. But focusing more on the ergonomics and seeing if the Mod 2 is really as improved over the original XD as what they say it is, we've loaded each gun with five rounds. We're gonna go one round out of one, one round out of the other, back and forth until we're done into the target and really kind of test the comfort and the controllability, especially in cold weather. And I guess to be as much of a man as Nicole was being in this video, gloves are coming off, everybody. Starting with the Mod 2. Definitely more controllable. Ergonomically, uh, this is the original XD here. We'll lay in some pan shots over it to see the difference, but there's a lot less grip texture going on. And you can see the differences now of the slide area underneath the magazine release and the tang area. And it's just a lot, it, it prevents your hand from getting as high in the gun as you want. Uh, speaking real quick in terms of the caliber, with the subcompact frames between nine and 40, there's really not a lot of difference in the overall snap or the recoil of the firearm. Uh, they feel really good, but the Mod 2 definitely takes the cake as far as controllability and ergonomics and really helping to cut down that felt recoil, especially with bare hands and a little bit of a harsh condition here. All right, guys, so for my side-by-side -side comparison, I decided I wanted to do five rounds out of the Mod 2 and five rounds out of the original XD. My reasoning behind that, as you all know, I have very small hands. It's also very cold outside. Um, and for me, it's not so much the first shot that I have trouble holding a gun for, it's the subsequent shots and how much it moves in my small grip and, and frame comfort is very important for me over a prolonged period of time, not necessarily just picking up a gun and shooting it. Um, so let's give it a shot. Up first, the Mod 2. So overall, the Mod 2 is much easier to control for the second, third, and fourth, and fifth shots. Um, the XD is just a little bit blockier. It's tough to keep my hand really down and on the gun and get my grip all the way around it. The Mod 2 is much more comfortable in that respect. Um, 40, um, 40 versus 9 millimeter, really not noticeable out here. Small gun, small frame, cold hands. So in all actuality, People are most likely going to carry the standard capacity magazine as their primary magazine in the gun for concealed carry purposes. Maybe or maybe not would you choose to stash another standard capacity or extended magazine in your belt. But this is going to obviously keep the concealability of the gun where you want it to be more than that extended magazine. So we're just going to go ahead and dump 10 rounds out of this thing with that mag and see what happens. Other than missing one of the resets because my fingers are getting really cold, it rides really well. If you take a look at the shot groups, all the shots are right inside that center mass area that we were looking for. 
pacifier was good. The, again, really utilizing that tactile trigger reset and crisp trigger brake. And I like the fact that the Mod 2 has no over travel. I feel like that lets you kind of bounce off the frame and get back to that reset just a little bit faster as opposed to kind of rowing a boat on the traditional XD triggers. All right, guys, so Springfield sends you your Mod 2 in a new redesigned hard case. When you open up the case, the inside has nice cut foam, houses the gun, and some accessories. They include a standard size magazine in there, your extended mag. There's also a cable lock in there, the XD double mag pouch, holster, and speed loader. So keeping up with Springfield's reputation, they continue to give the customer a few little extras with their gun. Well, there you have it guys. After putting the XD Mod 2 through its paces, I think it's a fantastic gun and I really think that it's a significant improvement upon the original XD. Now, I think the XD and the XDM and the XDS, everything that Springfield puts out in these striker fired pistols is well worth the money, but I think the ergonomic changes and the little bit of redesigning that they did with the Mod 2 really helps the controllability and I think that it's going to be a lot more ergonomically pleasing to shooters with a variety of hand types. Being that this is a defensive oriented handgun, a fiber optic sight doesn't do you much good in low light conditions. You're most likely to probably need that gun in a low light or no light condition. And having no point of reference with the fiber optic front and the, the hard iron sight in the rear, that's something I would change out right away. Now, I don't think they're bad sights in the daytime. The fiber optic rod does an awesome job of picking up the sunlight and focusing it back towards you. But again, that's my personal preference. One of the things that doesn't make a lot of sense to me is a 16 round magazine. For concealability purposes, I find that that's going to cause the weapon to print and kind of give you away a little bit more than the standard magazine. So personally, I think I would run the 13 round magazine as my first, my primary magazine in the gun and leave the 16 round magazine either A for a backup while being a concealed carry citizen or for practice at the range because certainly having that grip extension and that little bit longer magazine does help with the controllability of the gun. So if you're just putting rounds through it to work on, let's say, trigger control or, or you know, some type of fundamental drill, I could see running that extended magazine. For concealed carry purposes, I'd recommend just sticking with the 13 round as your primary. The last thing I'll touch on is the XDM. Unmentioned in this video, really, until this point. When I first met up with Rob and Katie and got the Mod 2 from them and I opened the box, I started, you know, kind of playing around with the thing and checking out the grip it feels just like an XDM. And I honestly thought to myself, why, just why? You know, what, what's, what makes this gun so great? Well, they don't make a subcompact XDM. So if you're in the market for a subcompact frame gun, you don't wanna go down to a single stack like an XDS or anything. I think that the Mod 2 is a much more ergonomic and a lot better solution than the traditional XD. As always guys, Thanks for watching. Thanks for freezing along with us. We hope you can feel the wind chill through your computer screen. Another big shout out to Rob and Katie McNarley. You guys rock. We really appreciate the support. It's been kind of cool to get to know you guys and you seem like great people. Hopefully we can sit down, have a beer or something and talk guns one night. Um, as always, share the videos around, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll keep the videos coming because we never quit.